to volcanoes in eastern Russia, Kamchatka and one other in Indonesia, have erupted around the same time as the Japan 8.9 magnitude earthquake on Friday. Meteorologist Kevin Martin is the lead scientist here at theweatherspace.com and explains in his own way what may actually be happening. Waves from the earthquake have been ringing the planet like bell, causing stress in all sections of the planet, Martin said, imagine a calm magma chamber that just needs one push, even if a few feet. This would be enough to cause instability in the chambers, causing volcanic eruptions in various locations. These three eruptions will not be the only mountains to go and other quakes worldwide will follow as the worldwide faults get disturbed. Yuri Yamamoto, a resident from Tokyo, tells the weatherspace.com that Japan's early warning system gave Tokyo 30 seconds of a warning, proving an advanced system may actually work elsewhere and should be implemented in places like the western coast of the United States. So it has been interesting to watch history unfolding across the planet. But the weatherspace.com gives our condolences to those lost and the over 88,000 people in Japan that are reported to be missing. As for the Tsunami Prediction Center, an amazing job from them as predictions were nearly accurate as in timing and strength of the waves.